Imagine you have a list of tasks and their deadlines. Tracking deadlines might be tedious and stressful, but missing them is even worse. Today we will create a simple pop-up reminder in Excel for the tasks that reach their deadline. Let's get into it. Here we have a simple table containing a list of tasks and their deadlines. To create the pop-up reminder, we'll have to create a very simple VBA macro. To do that, we'll have to go to Developer tab. If you do not have it, you can go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and make sure we have the Developer box checked. Now click OK. Now click on Visual Basic and the VBA editor will open. Now within the project window, double click on this workbook. Here, click and select workbook. And here is the list of events that will trigger the macro. In our case, we want to trigger the macro whenever we open the workbook. So we will leave it like this. The way our macro is going to work is that within our spreadsheet, it will check within the column B for all the dates that will be equal to the current date. And if it, that is so, it will create that pop-up message. So first thing to do is to create two variables. We will create one variable called WS, which will be the short name for our worksheet. And the second variable we will call cell and it will be containing the range from our column B with the deadlines. The first thing to do is to tell the VBA macro what is the worksheet that we are going to search on. So we will set it to this workbook. We will open round bracket, open quotes, and we need to write the name of our spreadsheet. If we go back to our Excel file, we can see our spreadsheet is called deadline. So we can go back and write deadline. Close quotes, close round bracket, and enter. The next step is to add a loop that will search throughout the column B. And we will say for each cell in WS spreadsheet, within the range B1 till let's say B100, close quotes, close round brackets. Just make sure that your range is big enough so it comprehends all your deadlines. Otherwise, the macro won't get to all the cells. The next thing is to write in the condition for this loop. So we will say if cell that value equals to date, in VBA date is equal to the current date. Then create a message box, open round bracket, open quotes and let's type in a text like you have a deadline for and then we need to write in upper send because I would like to use as a response for the pop-up message the actual name of the tasks. So we will say cell so that will get the cell containing the deadline but we will offset from, our, from that cell and we will offset the rows with zero because we want to stay in the same row, but we want to move the content that we are getting from column B to column A. So in this case, we will write minus one and we will close round bracket for the offset and we will close round bracket for the message box. Now we need to close the if function and we need to tell the loop to search to the next cell. Now let's go to our Excel file and we need to save it. When saving the file, make sure you select the Excel macro enabled workbook because otherwise the macro won't work. So we have our macro, let's save it once again. We can close the VBA editor and let's also close the Excel file. And now if we open again our Excel file, 
we will enable the content, we'll get a pop-up message saying that we have a deadline for task number seven. And we can see that task number seven is the same date as the actual date. So we will click OK. And then we get another message saying that we have a deadline for task eight. And if we get to the deadline of task eight, indeed is the same date as for task seven. So if we have the same deadline for multiple tasks, we will get multiple pop-up messages. Another thing you could do with this macro is to uh, play around with the if function. So you could say to not compare it with the current date, but with a later or earlier date. So for instance, if you want to get the pop-up message one day before the deadline, here you could write in minus one. So that will subtract one day from the current date. So if we save it, we close the VBA editor and we see for the task six, we have 22nd of November. So let's close the Excel file and open it again. We will get a reminder for task six, which is that. Or another thing that you could do is instead of getting the pop-up before the deadline, you could use a specific date and then you could uh, make a kind of a counter that will count, for example, 30 days from the current date and then it will uh, pop up. If you enjoyed creating the macro, check out this video where I present three very simple but interesting macros that will improve your productivity in Excel.